I've shown you how to build some elements of ball runs on this channel, but today I'm going to show you how to combine them into one big ball run. And hopefully it can inspire you to build your own. You'll need your planks in an open space, so go ahead and grab those and let's get started. I start my ball runs by creating the layout for the full ball run because I start from the end to work my way to the beginning because it's much easier to start from the top and work your way down than to start from down and work your way up. So here I'm building the tallest part and I'm going to create the ball dispenser and you want to make sure it's on an incline and that you have two planks setting up so the ball can fit through and you want to just keep practicing dropping your ball through the dispenser to make sure none of the planks are obstructing the ball. Now I'm going to be building right here the dropper. So it's kind of, it's the shape of a funnel and just making the planks coming, come out further and further. So you, it's really easy to drop the ball in. So I tested that and it works. The next is building the next level and I'm going to try to build right up to near where the uh, ball comes out from that dispenser. And this is trial and error. You can see that I pick up some planks and then put them back down in different spots just to make sure that the, um, the ball rolls the way that it should. And I'm going to add to the next layer and I'm creating a ball bounce plate here. So it's going, the ball is going to come out of the dispenser and drop onto that uh, platform there to bounce into whatever I make next. You can see that I'm testing out different inclines to make sure that the plank lines up the way that it should and that it can allow the ball to roll. I'm now creating the hopper portion so when the ball bounces off the bounce plate that it will land into a space so this is the same way that I built the first um, ball dispenser coming out so the planks are on an angle of one I have two planks on the back and then one plank on the front so it creates an angle and like I said a lot of this is trial and error so I realized that I wanted the bounce plate a little bit taller so I have some more um, height to work with for the rest of my ball run. So now I'm ready to add the dispenser portion. First I add four planks and then the two on top again, and two, two, and then just creating enough of an opening for the ball to come down. And now I've moved on to the turn. So I'm adding a little bit of height and then angling the planks. And then I create a bumper with those planks there. I decide that I want to make a track converter. So I'm adding planks on top of a, I'm adding planks on top of the base. And then I will add just two planks on top there. So it's like the ball is Floating, rolling onto a track. And now I'm going to create a U-turn so I make sure that these planks are on an angle and then these planks here are also on an angle and then add the bumpers. And from there I decide that I'm close to the ground already so I'm just going to create an extra turn and then have the ball roll just off of the platform that I have there. Last thing I need to do is create a ball catcher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more ideas like this one. And if there's something in particular you'd like to see built, leave those in the comments and hopefully we can build something like that in the future. 
Until next time, we can't wait to see what you create.